This is uh, for those of you that, you know, find yourself going through stuff. You know, it's important to understand, man. You got to, one, you got to surround yourself with people that, you know, really have been through things like this. And secondly, you have to, you know, you have to know, like, you have to live your life at, to the degree that you have no regrets. You know, one of the things that, uh, you know, I, I, I share with Ricky, you know, and for some of you need to hear this too, sometimes God will give you a chance to, to grieve while your loved one is still with you, right? And, and then you're wondering, like, why am I not crying or whatever? Like, it's not meaning something's wrong with you. It just means that God gave you the grace of their life. You know, Ricky got a chance to uh, sit with his grandfather to tell him how much he loved him and appreciated him. And so, you know, and then now here's an opportunity to celebrate his life. I mean, we roll it in his car, his cassettes. What's your granddad listening to, Jane? My granddaddy, I don't know, I think they went to the club sometime, they didn't tell me about it, but they was digging at the church. But I think him and my grandma used to go to tease. But, but they do have the Mississippi. They do have the Mississippi mask. They got the Mississippi mask. What's the last time? <laughs> what's the I last time y'all saw this? Mississippi mask. They got uh, Pat and the Bell. Pat and the Bell. So they go between. So, see, yeah, they, this is my grandmama cassette. Tape. She they got call Pat it the balance. Bell. Oh my God. And then I think we got a um, cassette. And we got Kansas in here. Dust in the wind, Malik. Wow. Yeah, you know that song. So at the end of the day, man, it's just about like now celebrating life. That's what we're doing right now. We yeah. we're not mourning death. We're celebrating his life, and uh, and and Ricky is in a good place. And uh, this ain't no fake thing. This is real, man. It's just like you know, you you deal with it, you go through it, and then you position yourself to help other people, using it as a teachable moment. That's the kind of guy my dude is. He's using his moment of grief to encourage somebody else. So you may be going through now. But just know, man, just know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And uh, you got to know that. You got to believe that. And uh, we know, we know Granddad is fine. He just wants Ricky to be fine. That's why oh, yeah. we riding this. What's 96. This? 96. Sedan DeVille. Sedan DeVille. Do they even make these anymore? I don't think so. You have a wreck in this one, I promise you, you're going to survive. <laughs> See, I'm going to let this die. Yeah. Gonna survive this one, cause boy, that that the uh the emblems already at the church. The hood, the hood ornament is already at the church. We pulling up. That's how long this car is. <laughs> so we good. But I want to thank everybody for their prayers, though. And I tell you, yeah. uh, the prayers help. The yeah. prayers has been helping. Spirit's been up. I woke up. Good attitude this morning. You know, you have a little moments of sadness every five, every 10 minutes, you get the little butterflies thinking about the service and thinking about your family members and are they okay and how they gonna take it. You know, we got sick family members and hope that it don't take a toll on them and, and stuff like that because a lot of people don't survive other people's death. You know, so, um, you know, we just, we just, we just gonna go and have church.